And I feel like anything that you do in a fighting game can translate to another fighting game. And fundamentals just kind of carry over. Like, if you're really good at Smash 4, you might have a bit of a curve getting up into Smash Ultimate, but you will... It'll just start to feel like... Like you're at home at some right. point. Right, right. No? Uh, did he pick Marth? He's picking Marth. Okay. Wow. What are we seeing from Nico? I wonder what part of the bracket we're at. Hold on. I'm going to check it real quick. It's Marth. Oh, wow. Like winner, winner, winner's quarter. Yeah, you know, like, I'm starting to see some weird things with Marth. Like, there are times when you could, could have sworn that he got a tipper there, but he just he didn't. Yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of strange how it all works. Nice. That was a tipper for sure. You can tell by the sound of the hit. A lot meatier. Okay, okay. So this is our third third winner's quarters match. So semis is on its way. Right. So we uh, we have this, and then after this set, we have Syro versus Shine. And nice. that would be our last quarter. Nice. Oh, wow. He saved his jump? Dang. Yeah, he kind of have to. But right now, he's still getting the pummel around the block right now. Oh, my God. He's just getting thrown around. And that's what I'm saying about it. It's, it's kind of hard to edge guard uh, Richter sometimes. He's able to just immediately get in. Yeah. And he has the invulnerability just like as soon as he gets there. Sometimes it can definitely be difficult to compensate for the uh, the deal. But, wow, that Nair. Yeah. I don't know if that was Tipper or not, but he was at pretty high percent. Maybe it just outright killed him. But Yeah, it's enough to take care of it. Wow, that was a really good air dodge, too. That could have been serious trouble for Nico had he got hit by that up air. And I think uh, Richter's really interesting, too. There's just like the way that you're able to aim all of your aerials. Look at that, man. I've, I've seen somebody two frame with a back air. Like, what is, what, what is life? Oh, yeah, the angle down uh, back air. Yeah. Yeah, th those uh, those hit pretty hard. And look at this anti air coming out from T3 Domain. We hear the whip going right now. Yeah. Get it back. Oh my god. <laughs> He's able to come back pretty safely too. And right now, T3 Dome finding a little trouble to kill right now. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, uh, Falchion is a, is a nice sword and all, but it uh, doesn't have the length of the whip. Take this. Oh, able to get back on the stage. T3 Dome still trying to figure it out. And we see uh, Nigo not really getting ledge trapped as hard as everyone else in this tournament from T3 Dome. Yeah. I mean, up B is a really serious thing for uh, Marcina. You know, it's nice. Ooh, wow. good forward air. Taking yeah. that one out. Yeah, another thing, too, is like uh, up B just getting to the ledge really quick, too. Get, it gives T3 Dome less time to set up all of his little traps on the ledge. That's true, and that's exactly what he needs because they have to put themselves at just that right threshold to where you can start two framing with the. Oh, my goodness, that's death. Yep, that's dashing the reel in there. No, but you had a good point, because uh, you have to be right there to be able to throw the Holy Fire so that it is hitting the ledge properly, and you also need to be able to like, angle that forward smash and get those kills. Right, right. It takes a, you got to pre-position yourself, get the get the Holy Water ready, and do all that jazz. So yep. definitely, you, you're going to need some time to do that. Oh, oh dang. Kirby. Okay, okay buddy. Dang. <laughs> T3 Dome definitely like rolled his eyes and was like, oh, all right. Easy win. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I, I, I heard I heard Nico's Kirby goes in. Sometimes. Sometimes it does. Fought him a few times. All right. Oh, yeah. I, there is one thing. I, I've noticed that uh, Kirby's down tilt is actually kind of the truth. Like the it, truth? It's, yeah, it's the truth. It can, it can uh, land it's some pretty nice things. Like, he'll, he'll get a down tilt, and then he can just start, start grabbing you because it'll trip you. It's, it's not too bad of a move. It just has really short range. But that's Dang. Kirby's general problem. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Wow, that almost killed. Good thing Nico knows how to DI that move. Yeah, so, oh, that was a good axe. Yeah. And right now, Nico kind of struggling versus uh, this Richter. But, oh, wait a minute. We got the offstage situation. Wow, that forwarder didn't fully connect. If it did, that would have been a dead Richter, but still living right now. Big time. Oh, okay. That cross is such a problem. Uh, yeah, that returning hitbox. I, I think that's one of his better moves. Uh, I mean, they're all good, but that cross is one of the more annoying things to deal with. Oh yeah, and the fact that it um, stays on the same level as well, and really good mix-up right there from T3 Dome. Didn't, not insta reeling there, because mm. that would have he would have met his demise with that uh, down air. Yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah, it does stay on the same level, and it's like even if you have a disjoint, it's kind of like Gabriel's crown. It's you can't neutralize it. It's going to stay out there. Ooh, almost got the axe out of the fire there. 
And right now, Nico's uh, Kirby kind of getting slapped right now. A little bit. A little bit. There's a ledge jump, but uh, T3 Dome not afraid to use that up be aggressively. And the axe hitting Kirby straight in the face right there. And uh, right now, T3 Dome, uh, you know why they call him T3 Dome? I, why? Because he three stocks Kirby. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Dang it. Hey, you had the right call, I though. tried. You did. Come you on, did. man. Hey, maybe next tried, time. Tried to set you up and everything. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. The, the, oh, the that, oh. That's so, so down. That's so down. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Okay, so so people were right. Hmm. Nico's Kirby does go in. Yeah, a little bit. He went in pretty he hard He definitely there. just went. That was solid proof that Nico's Kirby goes in. That's about his in Document that right there. Nico's Kirby goes, oh, no, wait a minute. Not again. Are we going to go in? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Right? Yeah, Caesar Dome was like, no, 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 no. You ain't going to hit me with that again, fam. Like, you, you've gone in enough, sir. <laughs> no more in in of the going. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't have that. Oh, but right now, you know what? Uh, what's going in is this whip into Kirby's face right now. <gasps> There's that down tilt. A re-grab route. It's a jump. Up B. It's not that, dead. That's not gonna okay. That's not going to kill, even if it's Kirby. Oh, up air. Okay. Oh, that air dodge had a lot of implications. Oh, okay. He was able to nair at the very end of that uh, that cross. That was nice. Maybe it may, if I know something's not going to kill, maybe I shouldn't say it's not going to kill. You know, maybe maybe I'm just spoiling it. You know? Especially in the free. Okay, that's going to kill. Yeah, it'll definitely kill. <laughs> I, I spoiled it again. Dang it. Uh, I have to be like, oh, man, is it going to kill? Just to like hype up for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to kill. We all know. He got like, <laughs> Warlock punched. I don't know if that'll kill. <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> Okay, well, yo, T3 Dome was kind of sweating right there. It's kind of close that uh, that that Kirby went in. Okay, we're definitely not gonna see the Kirby again. People are telling Nico, go back to Kirby. Yeah, I bet T3 Dome saying that too. I bet Nico's like, maybe I should. Like, I think about it. Yeah, maybe I'll the cre please the crowd, man. Okay, we got the Marth on deck. Okay, okay, so Marth. What is it, Smashville? Yes, it is. I like Smashville here for Marth um, because, like, the whole the whole way of it going, uh, you have crazy air mobility with Marth and good mobility as a whole. So having a really smaller stage, this will be nice for Marth, I think. Take this, man! Right now, Nico, Nico finally getting his hands on him. Yeah. Oh, that nair! Oh my he God! The jump. Yep. That was good wow, that was like the latest hit of that pos that nair is possible. Okay, Ooh, up. okay, there's that grab. Nice turnaround. Ooh, tipper back here for that damage as wow. well. Yeah, I, I, I feel like a T3 Dome threw out a backer, and that was why he was able to get that tipper. Um, oh, ex uh, extended his hurt box. Yeah, he did. Wow, that that holy water flew at the oddest angle I've ever seen. Yeah, it just floats right? there. Right? Yeah. Like, that That was weird. I wonder if you're able to control how... Um, wow, like, you trajectory. probably can, yeah. Yeah, that, that was really interesting. Okay, man, the spacing from Tidome is pretty phenomenal. Good, good tack. Oh, and there it is. And you, you know, angling the uh, the whip actually increases how far you can, you know, tether. Really? Yes. That's cool. So if you were to just go like straight, it wouldn't really. Do if much. you're on, if you're like a little lower, you want to go straight and up. up. That's like awesome. Up. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. All right. And Nico is sitting at 177 percent right now. Ooh, man. It, it, Nico knew that he was going to be able to sweet spot that ledge before the axe could get in there, and you really have to know uh, how your character's physics work to be able to fight against a character like Richter. Yeah, look at that. But from center stage, the backer will finally close it out here for T3 Dome off stage. I like how uh, at the very beginning of Nico's new stock, um, T3 Dome threw out that little cross like in the opposite direction to sort of make Nico think a little differently about approaching neutral there. I think he was trying to like stall out his vulnerability. That wasn't a bad idea. Yeah, and I love how T3 Dome actually uses the uh, the cross as well on defense when he's off stage. You know, he's off stage. Someone's trying to set up an edge guard, just throws a cross right in front of him, makes it a little harder. Yeah. Ooh, and big damage coming into the cross to the axe. And right now, T3 Dome still holding on to the three stocks. Yeah, he is. Oh, hey, your prophecy might come true. I, I don't oh know. man, I'm jinxing it now. <laughs> I'm messing it up for everybody. Yeah, whenever, whenever someone needs to take D3 dumb stock, we just gotta say that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, maybe C3. Yeah, yeah. I know he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Sh oh, no. yep. I was gonna say nice shield. Wait a minute. Is this, is this T3's dome? Time to shine. Is he gonna get his uh, 
number currently number two on the PR right now. This would be a really big win for him. Yeah. This is with his Mart too, and this I don't even think uh, Nico was making it on PR with his Mart. So uh, fundamentals, they transition over. Oh yeah, for sure. Ward throws such a good change for the fireman character. Really good angle. Tries to get the trump. Nice forward tilt. Yeah, it just goes into that crazy arc. It's able to hit. Ooh. Nice, that up B. Yeah, really good reactions on the normal get up there, and up B just coming out so, so quick. That back, uh, that down throw in the back air looked kind of, it looked promising. Oh, yeah. It looked kind of true. Yeah, almost. Yeah, the DI is definitely on point here. Nice down there. I like how he's changing up his recovery a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That was really good, and like ledge jump too, the angle he came at was really, really good. Oh, wait, getting some of that stage control, setting up the shop. That roll, though. Oh, oh, super down yeah, yeah, man. Super See, strong. right there, you use up air yeah, yeah. for the tether. You can you can use up air, too. Oh, yeah, you can just go straight uh, from straight down. Yeah. Oh, that was such a good up smash. That almost killed. Oh, the setup from the cross. He doesn't pull the trigger on the second hit there. Man, pointing. He was trying to shield poke with that. Oh, my God. Yeah, that that's actually really smart. There's the cross on defense once again. Ooh, this is uh, looking pretty close. Uh, okay, yeah, we got a whiff on the forward air from uh, Nico there, trying to cover himself with the cross. And the axe in like the completely opposite direction. That was definitely a error here, but wait a minute. Oh, okay. Trying to get Man. him to take this. Everyone in the crowd is getting hyped for this. Nicely done. Okay, there's that cross again. Yeah. Back throw. Ooh, he's going to be on the ledge again. There's the holy water. Oh, that's, yeah. it. that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. okay. The ledge jump there. Really good stuff from T3 Dome. 